Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about how a mystery works. What's the major mechanic that drives a mystery story or a mystery storyline? You don't necessarily have to be writing a mystery novel to use this. You can put in an element of mystery in anything that you write, but it all goes back to the same mechanic, which is reader is to detective as writer is to villain. Now this is an analogy and it's in the analogy format. Reader is to, that's what the first colon means, as, which is the double, and then is to. So you're comparing two pairs of things. Reader is like the detective the same way that the writer is like the villain. I had to do like hundreds of these in elementary school as a kid. There was a thing called Wordly Wise that they made us do where we had like a hundred of these on a page and one of them would be crossed out and we'd have to fill it in. Did it make me a better writer? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. But this is how a mystery works. The reader is to the detective as the writer is to the villain. Because when you think about the detective character, we'll say investigator, it doesn't have to be a detective but often is, if you're writing detective fiction, it absolutely will be. The detective is the character who wants the answers to the puzzle, to the crime. They want to catch the villain. The villain, okay, is the character with the answers. They're the one who committed the crime, they know the ins and outs. They know every bit of information the detective wants to find over the course of the story. And the way a mystery novel works is that the reader is in the same position as the detective, right? Which is why you have that relationship right there. And the writer is in the same situation as the villain. The reader wants to solve the puzzle. That's exactly what a mystery novel is. It's a game between the reader and the writer, between the detective and the villain. The reader wants to solve the puzzle. They want to find all the information that the villain has and that the writer has because in writing the crime, you have to think up the crime. The writer is the one who knows everything. They're the one that spins the web for the reader the way the villain does it for the detective. So what you want to set up in your mysteries is a proxy relationship between the reader and the detective and the writer and the villain. It's a game and the characters are the game pieces that you and the reader who are the players will be using. So when Sherlock Holmes says the game is afoot, uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle meant that quite literally. That was his whole uh, his whole thing and why his stories work. That's the mechanic on which a Sherlock Holmes mystery uh, works. And it's been carried down to every other mystery writer since, from crime dramas on television to Agatha Christie to any mystery you can think of, it all comes back to this relationship right here. The detective is the reader's proxy. DNR, we'll use that, detective and reader. And the villain is the writer's proxy. The game pieces. And so the reader is going to try to figure out the puzzle. Try to beat the game by the end of the book. Those are the rules. They have until the end of the book to try to solve it themselves and try to beat you, the author. And that's the dynamic you want to set up in your fiction. Now it follows that if this is a game with rules, you've got to play fair, okay? And what that means is that the reader needs to be able to solve the puzzle. There can't be anything you bring in at the very end of the novel that's going to surprise them that you've been holding back. There can't be any, we'll call them convenient revelations that don't make sense or that come out of nowhere. By the end, the reader needs to have all the clues that they need in order to solve it. Now that doesn't mean you make it easy for them, right? 
this is where the red herrings come in. You can try to misdirect them, like a, a magic show. Misdirection is how that works. And you're going to be doing the same thing. You want to try to throw them off. But by the end, they need to have all the information that they need in order to get it right. Doesn't mean they're going to. Doesn't mean they will absolutely solve the puzzle. And in fact, maybe you want to make it really hard on them. An experienced mystery reader is going to need a challenge. But you still have to play fair. If it's going to be a game, there are rules, and you want to make sure you're following those rules, otherwise you're going to piss your reader off. And again, especially with experienced fans of the genre who know how this works, and when they buy a book, they're buying the experience of solving the puzzle. And if you watched the first video in the marketing series, I started talking a little bit about experience. Right? Every genre makes a promise to the reader, and promises an experience. Well, this relationship, type it out again, reader is to detective as writer is to villain. This right here is the promise, the experience promised for a mystery book. This is what the mystery genre promises. So your book needs to deliver on that promise if it is a mystery novel. And again, it doesn't have to be a fully blown mystery for you to use this. If you're writing a literary novel and you want to put an element of mystery into it, it's going to be the exact same situation. You want to include that game between you and the reader and use the characters as proxies. If you do that, you will create an engaging mystery that delivers on its promises and gives the reader the value that they're looking for. I mentioned in the other video that this is going to be a word that comes up on this channel all the time. And I might even mention it in pretty much every video, to be honest. Because this is it. This is what keeps readers coming back. They look for books that will deliver the value that they're interested in. And if you deliver that value, you might be able to turn them into a fan. So it's important to think about that. And in the case of a mystery, you want to be thinking about this proxy relationship. Reader versus writer and detective versus villain. It should be fun, right? It can be intense, it can be challenging, but it should be fun. It should be a game and you should play fair. And if you do that, you'll write a kick-ass mystery novel. So that's it for today. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up. It really does help me a lot, especially getting the channel going. Subscribe for more writing, book marketing, and crime fiction content. Comment down below with questions or concerns. I will respond to all comments and follow me on Twitter at mSantosAuthor. I post up daily marketing tips, talk about writing, and all kinds of good stuff. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.